In this video, I'll show you how to browse and sort the Psalms with the Psalms Explorer, then how to expose the structure of the Hebrew poetry and find certain types of parallel lines. You can access the Psalms Explorer by going to the Tools menu and selecting Psalms Explorer from the list of interactives to the right. You'll notice that right away we have 150 bubbles in the main portion of the screen, and each bubble has a number, representing the corresponding psalm, as well as a color, which represents the grouping scheme selected from the top. Moving to the top, Logos lets us group the psalms in interesting ways. We can group them by order, by genre, by structure, by author, or by book. With this setting, Logos groups the psalms into psalms of praise, lament, trust, thanksgiving, hymns, royal psalms, and wisdom psalms. Moving to the left, Logos gives us browsing options that allow us to find and group psalms by options listed at the top, plus lets us group psalms by theme, tag, and according to the information in the superscription. When I select one of the grouping options to the left, Logos will display psalms that match my selection. For example, imagine that you want to find all of the lament psalms composed by David. To find and group these psalms, select Lament from under the Genre section, and notice that all the other psalms representing other genres escape off the page. Then, scroll down and select David under Attribution. Now I'm looking at 44 psalms composed by David that represent this genre. And with the Psalms Explorer, we can discover parallel lines in the text, identify them correctly, and see the parallel parts. You can find this information by jumping up to the reference box and entering the psalm you want to explore, like Psalm 19. Then press Enter. This action calls up a detailed view of this psalm, displaying the English text, parallel lines, and the structure of the Hebrew poetry. Each set of parallel lines is marked with an indicator, and each parallel part is marked with a letter. Notice when I hover over the indicator in verse 1, Logos informs me that these lines represent synonymous parallelism. The first line is repeated in the second line using different words, and the corresponding parts are labeled with letters A through C. So even if you're not a poetry expert, Logos exposes the structure for you and labels the parallel parts. To go a step further, we can expose the same information in the Hebrew text as well by clicking the Hebrew viewing option from above. Now I'm looking at a side-by-side -side Hebrew to English version of this psalm, and the parallel lines are revealed in both texts. And you can do this for any of the psalms. Having already looked at synonymous parallel lines, let's take a look at antithetical parallel lines. First, jump back up to the reference box and input Psalm 37. When the psalm appears, scroll down to verse 9, which reads, For the evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. This is classic antithetical parallelism, two lines set together that oppose one another. To read a brief definition of this or any type of parallelism, consult the documentation link at the bottom.